Welcome, Welcome to Esuira! Yesterday, after a few days in Marrakesh, we finally left and took a private shuttle to Esuira. Yeah, which was actually a reasonable price. So over the next few days, we are going to be exploring the beautiful coastal town of Esuira with Emily Kate. That's right. Let's get started! So you walk through the main square, through the market. Yeah, from our place, we're really in the Medina, which is really neat. And now we are walking to the port, which is like what Esuera is known for. If you look at Esuera, all the pictures are these blue boats right here in the port. Oh, Ooh. and seagulls are pooping. <laughs> Holy smokes. Did I get hit? No, just before you landed. Oof. Also, loving the vibe of this place. Yeah. Very seaside. Girls, what do you think? Oh, they're way back there. Beautiful. We love it. Very pretty. So this area is really, really cool and really authentic, which is why it feels a bit odd. Cause I feel like I'm intruding, we're intruding on these people's work, on like the market in Marrakesh or maybe in the market over here where they want people to come in. This is people's work and I feel like we're intruding a bit. So I'm trying to stay a bit further back. It's really impressive. This is, this is something else. So on that note, we're gonna go find a beach where it's less intrusive. Thanks. So as you can tell, we made it to the beach. And funny enough, as we are supposed to be known as the windy city and all about wind, and right now, it is so calm. Like we should have wore our bathing suits. Yeah, we didn't what bring them right now. We thought it'd be too windy. We were just scoping things out. Today, yeah, we're just scoping it out. Hopefully we can swim later. Also, I want to check out if there's other gals in bikinis. Well, there's bikinis and burkinis. Yeah. So it's quite a mix. So we'll probably swim at some point. It it's like actually totally swimmable. Oh my gosh, that's the warmest water I have touched on this trip so far. Oh yeah? We are swimming one of these things. Oh days. yeah. No doubt about it. Oh my god. It's also really shallow so it like it, it goes out slowly. So that's beautiful. Wow. It's crazy calm. I thought this was a surfing area. I know. This is, although what if the this heck? is the only calm day? This is supposed to be surfing conditions. Kate, are you going to swim one day with us? Uh, it's flat. Ready? Let's get broke. <laughs> Guys, you left Kate! Also, this is by far the best sand we've walked on. Like in Portugal, you know when it's sand, when it's like either hot or you have to work really hard to walk on it. This is just nice and easy to walk it's on like, sand. It's like, this is perfect for like running, yeah. It's the next day and we decided to come back to go swimming. And it's a Saturday, so it's nice and busy with lots of people. All right, the water is very warm. And I feel like you're gonna walk out for quite a long time before it gets deep. A little fishies here. Not super clear. From what I've read, it's not too polluted either, even though there's the port right there. Ooh. Busy beach. I think it's specifically busy today, particularly because it is not windy at all. And it's a Saturday. And it's also a Saturday, but it's packed, but there's still space. This is such a huge beach. Like it literally goes for 10 miles or six miles, 10 kilometers. But our beach time is now finished. And so next we're gonna show you our Airbnb because it is so beautiful and we got a really, really good deal on it. We don't know if it's as a weird prices mm -hmm. or just like a random deal we got. $53 Canadian per night, which is what it came out to be. Let's show you the Airbnb. Starting with ah. our beautiful main area. I was gonna say this is our living area, but we also have a separate living room. So this is living room number one where we eat all of our meals and it's quite beautiful. And living room number two, Emily Kennedy. So moving on, we have our bedroom, which is huge, biggest room we've had. This lovely bed, 
beautiful, even though we're in the middle of the Medina. That's the other thing. This location is so prime. Prime location. And we're in the, like, five minute walks. It's like, sorry, like 10 minute walk to the beach in the Medina, but the lighting is incredible. And then next door, we have Emily and Kate's room, which Keith will show you. So pretty standard. We got two singles. Pretty standard, there's a closet there, some windows too. It's a nice big space actually. And the kitchen right here, which is a tight space, but it's perfect. We have our gas stove. They replaced our tank, which is super sweet. They are right on it right away. Super important mini fridge and all the stuff you need. So this place is pretty sweet. And our tissue. And then the bathroom. The last room, right here, quite a big bathroom, quite bigger than the kitchen. Some shelving for shower supplies and whatnot. Yeah, and look at this shower, it's actually huge. And very nice. And that's pretty much it, except for one last thing, which is also part of this Airbnb, it's shared. It's the terrace. Which is probably the best part. Which will take you up there. So we know you already saw the terrace. Let's get started! But we just love it up here, so it's just been a nice place to hang out. And this Airbnb overall is phenomenal. The stained glass, the tapestry, just every little detail, it's just beautiful. It's the street's right there, like Devin said, right in the middle of it all. It feels very homey. The only downside is that the Wi-Fi is not so hot. So what we are going to be doing right after this is going to explore the streets to find a cafe. That's right. With good Wi-Fi to upload a video because that's our life is uploading videos and looking for places to do that. And get some food while we're at it. So yes. let's go do that. But before we leave, Keith made us some tea. So it's tea time. You have to apparently pour from high up. Should I do good? Mm-hmm. Would you like my sound effect? Well, that was a real good one. <laughs> we also didn't put sugar in it, so you add your own if you want sugar. I did. Oh, just kidding. He did add sugar. <laughs> I lied. We had wine in Portugal, tea in Turkey, mint tea in Morocco. Just our drink of choice is changing everywhere we go. And our diet changes every month. And our diet changes every month. Got the Wi-Fi going, and it's basically uploaded. Doing the final checks. Three minutes left. A very cute cafe with great Wi-Fi. It seems like there's actually quite a lot of restaurants, sort of, sorry, cafes that are cute and cozy with good Wi-Fi, so that's cool for those digital nomads out there. Also, right now we're all kind of starving. So yeah, decision fatigue. To, we've enjoyed our kitchen, but we thought we'd do one meal out in Esavira, so we are on our way to find, we hopefully think a place by the water, is that our goal? Terrace, uh, I want some fish, and we, uh, want fish. we want good value, and we want a view. So we didn't end up finding a terrace, but we found a very good restaurant. Keith actually found it, and it's even got candles. The moral of the story of this evening is that there are a lot of options and a lot of restaurants here in Esquira, and honestly too many options to choose from. So let's dig in. There is. We haven't actually explored too much of Isuira, but it's a really cute town and no doubt why it's become so popular. Yummy! <laughs> Time to do some more exploring today! So 
we're finally, after being here for what, four or five days, yeah. finally gonna go to the city walls. It only took us so long. Which, which was used for multiple shows. I think most recently Game of Thrones. Yeah, but I think it's gonna be beautiful and nice. Old and Portuguese fortress the from the 1500s. Mm -hmm. Let's go check it out. And there's cannons lined up right here. Wow, this, this is, is beautiful. Gorgeous, blue skies, sea views, holy moly. Sit on the cannons. I wonder if these are the real cannons. I feel like they would be. It would take a lot of effort to get fake cannons and put them in here. That's a good question. Well, like I like this wind, this yeah. breeze. We yeah. haven't had the breeze. I don't know if we told you guys, but Fatima, who did our cooking class with us, which is the next video you'll see actually, she was telling us Essaouira is known as the refrigerator of Morocco because it's always the same temperature. Which is crazy because it's not actually that cold at all. No, and it's like it was like 40 degrees when we were in Marrakesh. And so the last few really days windy. have not been windy and this place is known for wind right, and yeah. kite surfing and windsurfing. Yeah. But I think this is their first time sort of being out here and there's wind. And there's wind and so, it's so nice. It's kinda of funny. We've been lucky, I guess, with weather. Well, unlucky too. I wanted to surf, really wanted to and the surf. weather was bad for surfing. Maybe I can in the next couple days, but who knows? And we're back where we started. It wasn't the longest <laughs> trip down. I thought we were going it's not way that down. Big of a fortune, fortress. I really thought we were going way down. But no, no, that was it. That's it. That was it. <laughs> So this is a daily occurrence, once an hour occurrence. Kate looking for cats. But scaring them away too. There you go, that's a good shot. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't like me. Also, quick random point, Morocco is all cash. Where Keith and I are used to always using our credit card that works anywhere. So, make sure you always cash on you because even places that say, hey, we take credit card, the guy goes, no, no, no credit card, cash only. <laughs> so, have cash. This is quite an interesting little fisherman's village. It's sort of touristy and growing in terms of a destination for people like digital nomads because of, you can tell by all the fancy Western coffee shops, but it's still super authentic. Still tons of fishermen working, regular people and locals. It's, uh, it's an interesting town, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> this is a Nutella and banana crepe and it's really, really oh, good. Oh, banana in there too? Yeah. It does look good. Kate got a crepe, I'm getting ice cream, Emily's getting falafel, Keith, we don't know what he's getting. We're all getting a little snack break and obviously creme glacé is the best for me. One bite, and officially, I'd like to say that the Moroccan shawarmas, I mean, that's a general, this is a pretty serious generalization, but the Moroccan shawarmas are better than the ones we had in Turkey. Uh, this is really good. Avocado, turkey, onion, tomato. There's even fries in here. I'm, I'm just having a good time here. <laughs> so, it's our last evening here. We're just about to watch the sunset. It's been so nice here in S. We are super chill, just spending a week with these two. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has been really nice. It's gonna be hard to say goodbye to more people and more people we love, more friends. Yeah. It's always tough. Yeah, but it's been like an insane week in S. Where we are is really cool, and hopefully yeah. we did a good job kind of illustrating that. It's got the Morocco intensity, but not as intense as America, for more sure. Chill. Definitely more chill and coastal. Yeah, so we're gonna enjoy the sunset, and you can watch us with. You can watch it with us. As you can tell, I'm just excited to watch the sunset. <laughs> so here's the sunset. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Ice cream time. Oh, look at this wind. It's like we're in a music video. Lots of kite surfing, wind surfing, and what's the other one? Windsurf. Surfing. You said that. And normal surfing. Kite surfing, yeah. surfing, <laughs> and surfing. And action. Hello, we are at a CD store. We are buying music for my dad because he likes this type of music. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing a Keith and Dev takeover. What are you even going for? Yeah, are you going for this one or that one? Wait, it's like right down. Oh. Okay, you do it, but it's not going through. Now, first thing, you should be start from here. 
I'm left on your girl. Oh, so start but low, Kate. She's trying to start high. Yeah, the no, like because when she start high, she would be don't put it. Yeah. But and when, now yeah, bring it up. Like that, and after looks. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, I'm going to go last. No! This is going to start to log off. No! Good morning, Mrs. <laughs> Good morning Bro. to you. How are you doing today? No. Hello. 